information. Uh, without further ado, I think uh, next in line is Kadeo. Uh, so the, the, the owners group that was unable to present you present towards the end. We just want to just, we don't want to disturb the workflow here of the presentations, talk of workflows. So Kadeo, if you're ready, maybe you can share your screen. Angela, you can unshare your screen now so that you give chance to Kadeo or something. Uh, uh, actually, my, my research proposal is based on the investigating the effectiveness of using interactive tablets in primary schools, a case study of Mwabu tablets. My, hello? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. We can proceed. Basically, my outline of my presentation will be the background of the study, statement of the problem, research objectives, specific objective, research questions, the significance of the study, theoretical framework, operational definitions, and literature review and the research and the research methodology. Uh, as we all know that uh, the world actually is integrating ICTs into education in order to enable the educational sector actually to progress economically and socially. Uh, information and communication technology is an extension term for information technology that stresses the role of an unified communication and in the integration of telecommunication computers, as well as enterprise software, midware, storage, audio vision systems that enables us to access, store, transmit, and manipulate information. ICTs are receiving focus at various platforms as demonstrated by the World Summit on the, on the Information Society. Uh, in Zambia, actually, the government has demonstrated the incorporation of the importance of ICTs in education by incorporating it with the fifth national development plan of 2016 to 2020, 2010. Uh, the Ministry of Education endeavors to integrate ICT in teaching and learning at all levels. This is in a bid to improve the quality of education delivery system and provide support to alternative electronic standalone devices. An interactive tablet actually is one of the tools that has enabled the integration of information and communication technology in education. This has been recognized by the project of AfriConnect Development, an internet service provider, which started in 2007. Uh, According to this person, actually, e-learning is a process created by interaction with digital delivery content, network-based services. A tablet basically can be defined as a general purpose computer content in a touch screen panel that is operated and interacted primarily with a figure or sightless. The impact of the tablet in primary schools actually in the developing world is not, is not widely spread. This is because people in the developing world more often have no access to the technology that is needed to engage in learning. Uh, the Zambian primary schools actually are using Mwabu Interactive Tablet, which is a complete e-learning system and is centered on providing lessons for teachers and online interactive multimedia learning content for pupils in grade one to seven. The tablet actually has got eight local language, which includes Bemba, Kaonde, Lunda, Lozi, Luvali, Nyanja, Tonga, and the Lusaka Nyanja, actually. Hello? Hello? Yes, we are, we are here. We are here. Uh, the mobile tablet actually comes in two, three forms. There's what we call the home tablet, the people tablet, and the teacher tablet. Now, what is it that really we want to do or to investigate about the interactive of using mobile tablets into primary schools. Uh, the statement of the problem states that ICTs have been seen as a positive catalyst by many policymakers in sub-Saharan Africa, African countries, and this has improved educational outcomes tremendously. Therefore, the government of Zambia actually visualizes a country which is transformed into information knowledge-based society. And economy, and economy which is supported by consistent development and prevalence of ICT by the citizens in the year 2013. As a result, the ICT, ICT policy with regard to education aims at integrating more interactive 
in the educational system, and this can be seen by the Zambia Information and Communication Technology, which is ZICTA, which has partnered with iSchool Zambia in a project that aims to empower primary schools through the supply and installation of digital content on computers and training of teachers. The tablets, the mobile interactive tablets actually are a new way of teaching learners, and this is because they introduce an era of blended classroom. The tablet actually does not replace face-to-face -face teaching with e-learning, but supports classroom activities by providing comprehensive lesson plans and interactive. The tablets have also broadened the range of pedagogical method methodology, which are available for teachers actually to engage when teaching the learners. Therefore, this study actually will make an effort to investigate the effectiveness of using mobile interactive tablets in primary schools. My research objectives actually, uh, the first one is to explore how the to explore how the mobile interactive tablets are being to explore how the mobile interactive tablets are utilized by the teachers and pupils. That is my first objective. Then the second one is to determine the effectiveness of mobile interactive tablets in facilitating teaching and learning activities conducted by the educator. Then the third one is to investigate the impact made by the mobile interactive tablets on the learners and teachers. So basically, we want to explore how the tablet actually is being utilized by the teachers and pupils. Then we also want to determine how effective is this tablet actually upon facilitating the teaching and learning activities that is being conducted by the educators. Then last, we want to know the impact that the tablet has actually on the learners and the pupils. Uh, hello? Hello, Dr. Piri. We are, we are still here. Everybody is still here. 15 people. Okay, so wonderful. Then the significance of the study is that the tablet has in the recent past been seen as a potential way to change how teachers teach. This is because it will support educational reforms as a teaching support tool in learning institution. The study will attempt to unearth the effectiveness of using interactive tablets in primary schools. The findings of the study might be significant might be significant to policymakers in the Ministry of General Education to address the integration of mobile interactive tablets in the educational system. Hmm. Then the theoretical framework basically that I've used in order to support my, my research is the TPAC. Uh, the theoretical framework for this study will be anchored on the TPAC. Uh, the TPAC theory actually has been chosen because it gives a framework for the integration of technology in education and how you can structure the classroom to provide the best effective educational experience for pupils with incorporating the technology. The TPAC basically stands for technological pedagogic content. It is a theory that was developed to explain the set of knowledge that teachers need to teach their pupils, a subject to teach their pupils a subject which is effectively and use technology as a as a tool. So the TPAC model actually identifies three primary forms of knowledge, which are content knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, and technological knowledge. And uh, this is a good example of the TPAC model. And then the literature review, these are some of the literature review that actually have used in my literature review chapter two. Uh, then coming to the research methodology. Uh, actually, my, my approach towards my research is on the philosophical approach actually is interpretivism. Then the research design, this actually will be a mixed method where qualitative and quantitative strategies actually will be employed. Then the target population for my study will be will comprise of 36 private schools within the Lusaka district. Uh, according to the information that I collected from high school Zambia, uh, there are 46 private schools that are using the mobile tablets. So out of 46, actually, I selected 35 private schools, actually, of which I'll visit and I've visited some already. Then my sample size basically, in total, it will be, 100 and, it will be 175, of which in each school, out of the 35 schools that I'll select, each school I'll select two teachers 
Then the number of pupils that I'll select in each school will be three pupils, which tallies to 105. So basically my sample size will be 137. Then the sampling procedure actually that I'm going to use specifically for teachers, I'm going to use purposive sampling, then for pupils, simple random sampling. Then the data collection method that I'm going to use, I'll use questionnaires for teachers and then interview guides, interview guides actually for the pupils. Then data will be analyzed in quantitative using SPS in qualitative thematic analysis. Then before venturing into the field actually to collect data, ethical clearance actually will be collected from from, from Humanity Social Science Ethical Committee, which is very important actually before you go into the field. Then people might be wondering to say, what is it that is trying to work on it? Actually, this is the mobile tablet gadget that I believe all of you are able to see. Hello? Yes, we can see that Hello? one. <laughs> so this is the gadget actually that I'm trying to find out how effective is this gadget actually to the learners and the pupils. Thank you very much. I hope I'm within the time. You work at you. Thank you so much. Uh, great stuff. Uh, now, just uh, to mention, I don't know if people can see me here. I also have a mobile tablet at home. This is oh, how okay. Kadeo and I are really serious with this. Uh, we think just, it's, for, uh, uh, just for the sake of uh, this work hasn't yet been submitted to DRGS. It is still waiting for approval by the uh, the supervisors, which is Dr. PD and Madam Christine Kanyewo, actually. So we are still working on it until it reaches its perfection, then we'll submit to DRGS. Hello. Great. Uh, yes. We will, we will invite uh, questions now, people. I, I'm sure people have questions for what Kadeo is doing. Uh, and as we are thinking about the questions, uh, it turns out that what we've discovered, or well, at least what Kadeo has discovered, is that, uh, um, you know, these these devices and gadgets are just being peddled, but, but no comprehensive studies have been performed to try and uh, measure their effectiveness, right, or their efficacy. So this is, in part, uh, what Kadeo is, is wanting to work towards. Um, right. Okay, so, yeah, I don't know if there are questions. Yeah, I have one. Oh, okay. uh, so the first question I had was, was the Mbau tablet project launched like is it quite recent? Was it launched after the, the One Tablet Per Child initiative? Hello? Hello? So I'm just, hi. Uh, so I'm asking about the, the, the project. When was it launched? Is it a recent project, right? Uh, basically, it's a, it's a recent project here in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, so as a follow up from that then, I see from the interview is, so essentially the question that should be asked here is, the project is quite recent, right? And I would yes. assume that, for instance, people have learned from what happened with like a couple of years ago with the one laptop per child sort of project. Mm -hmm. So are you taking any lessons from that project or going into what you're doing? I haven't taken it to that angle, actually. I've just taken it as the mobile tablets as it is in Zambia, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so Kadeo, you probably want to take note, what he's suggesting is, um, you see, if you read up on, and, and we've had discussions about the one laptop per child, and it's dental is all, we've also had discussions about uh, initiatives that have been launched in your part of the world, right? Yeah. ICT for rural education. We, we've been having those conversations, but, but mm -hmm. fundamentally, the premise, the premise of Kadeo's work, and I shouldn't be saying this, but I should nonetheless. But the, the, what we're saying is, if, if they're already on the market, if they're already being used, um, the least we can do is just go with the flow and try and gauge the effectiveness, right? Um, okay. Are people just buying these gadgets and or are they using them? At what extent are they being used? Uh, but 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 of course, as part of his related work, uh, we expect to see uh, ICT for rural education in the, the one laptop per child. And not too long ago, I think Kenya, the Kenya, Kenyan president had uh, proclaimed that they would start providing laptops for, is it high school going kids or something? So those are all things things that we're probably going to look at eventually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Even sorry. though it's in second year, it's still at proposal stage, sort of. Yeah, so I'm sorry, before I forget now, hello? 
Yes, I can hear you. So, um, from what I can see right in the introduction, you were talking about effectiveness. However, yes. from what based on like your methodology, what I see here, you're going to be asking people, um, you're going to have an interview, right, with particip your participants, either, let me see what this, oh, um, the, the students and the teachers. So when you talk about effectiveness, are you talking about the perceived perceived effectiveness from the perspective of the students and the, and the, the teachers? Come again? In no, other words, come again. Hi. Um, so, Kadeo, when you talk about this this notion of effectiveness, are you talking about whether it actually helps them learn, or are you talking about they think that it actually helps them learn? Actually, I'm talking about if it really helps them to learn, not what they normally think that it helps them, but how the tablet actually use if it is to them actually. Uh -huh. But then, if you're interested in 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 learning, not so much their perception of it, right? How can you then gauge that from interviews only? Because maybe that they, when they talk to you, they're gonna say, well, it helps us learn. But then when you look at their test results, they are failing. Mm -hmm. uh, th that actually I have to put into consideration, you are very correct, actually. So I have to look at uh, the past records before actually the incoming of the mobile tablets and how it has been, so that I can have a clear mindset or clear roadmap actually to say, is it effective or not effective? Thank you for, for that, actually. It, it's a wake-up call to me, actually. Maybe, uh, maybe it's time for us to put out our data on the uh, Kadeo. It's mm -hmm. Zola. So the last, but the objective to do with effectiveness is something that we are still discussing. It's something that Kadeo is thinking about, and, and it has come up, right? I've mentioned mm -hmm. to him, we've discussed, actually, the fact that if you look at literature, one way of measuring efficacy or effectiveness of these technologies is to look at learning outcomes. But you can only That's measure true. any outcomes if you have a basis for a comparison. And what mm -hmm. that means is you'd have to undertake some longitudinal study or something. We don't have time for that. So he's still thinking about that. It's likely going to remove that effectiveness bit or look at perceived effectiveness, like Zola is suggesting. So take our okay. point, Zola. I mean, uh, Kadeo is, uh, you want to write down what you mentioned, perceived effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Thanks, or, Zora, I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Or more recently, in the oral exams, uh, somebody who was defending, who happens to be a faculty staff in the School of Education, used what he calls, or what's called self-efficacy, right? So these are reported things. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, and again, I'm sorry I had to come in, but, you know, uh, I guess just to help the, the people in the audience understand what we're working towards, so I thought it was oh, important. Okay. Thanks for that, I really appreciate it. Uh, are there any other questions? And for the, for the fourth years that are living in the room, one of the reasons why you were invited is not just to do your presentation. At some stage, you're going to have to, uh, to come up with aspects that have been presented by the more senior students, right? So the methodology, and this is the best way to, to kind of pick up ideas here, right? Uh, I would stick around if I were you, uh, but of course I'm not you. Okay, uh, if there are no questions, uh, looking at time again, uh, Thank you, Kadeo, very much. That was wonderful. Thanks very much, Doc. Although I, I know that the, the, the topic is working towards uh, or his research area, but I, I thought that was a wonderful presentation.